What do you call it when a kitten loses everything it has? A catastrophe. Ah. This video is sponsored by PGX Grading Services. Get 10% off your first submission by using the code WELOVECOMICS10% on your order form. Link in description. Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Chris, and apparently this is now We Love Cats and Comics because now all of a sudden my one cat wants to be a superstar on YouTube. And uh, he'll avoid me all day, but as soon as I start doing a video, all of a sudden he wants attention. So, since people like it, We'll keep it going, so hopefully you enjoy it and appreciate it. And we have a key issue that I would like to share with all of you. And as usual, before I show it, um, don't forget to wait until the end of the video so you could see who's today's surprise subscriber shout out. If you want to be one, you just have to be a subscriber. And you should ask for one. You don't have to. But if you ask for one, you'll get it a lot quicker. And especially if you comment often. So this is one of those books that I've been recommending people get before the merger of Disney and Fox goes through. Um, there is a rumor these days that Comcast has placed a bid. And that's actually higher than Disney's. But I'm going to tell you right now, it's not going to go through, in my opinion. And the reason being is, yes, Comcast is offering more money. But Disney is offering stock. And if you're a business holder, cash is nice, but it only lasts for so long. And after all the fees and taxes you have to pay the government, you're not going to have a lot of it. But if you have stock in a major company like Disney, there's a lot more long-term profitability. So even though Comcast is asking for more money, they're still, in my opinion, because businesses want the best future possible they're still going to go with disney's deal and disney knows it that's why they're not trying to match or beat comcast's uh, offer so i mean we'll find out eventually but i mean you have to think like a business not like a comic collector so let's show the key issue book that i now have and this of course is a lower grade because the higher grades are a lot more expensive this is a book i've wanted for a long time and this is Fantastic Four issue number three, which is the first time the Fantastic Four have their costumes. So this one has definitely been loved. Now, I see it looks like there's a rip here. I wonder, I'm going to have to check it and open it. I wonder, because it's a little bit of different color. I wonder if somebody taped another part of a comic onto there. I'm going to check that, but I knew this was lower grade. You could see this part's folded over. You could see there's a part missing here. There's a lot of color breaks, and it is very dirty. So the um, a dry cleaning will absolutely help this book, but I'm going to, as usual, open it up and check it. There's a little piece missing there. So this is probably a 1.5 comic, maybe a 2.0, probably more closer to a 1.8. But even in lower grades, this book is going to be very expensive. And you guys and girls know me, I love to get deals. So I didn't pay what most people pay. Because even in lower grade, you're, you're spending a couple of hundred dollars on this book. And I also bought it for that future merger. Now, of course, nothing in life is guaranteed. So it's not 100%, even though I really feel that Disney still has the upper hand because they're offering uh, shares in, in the stock, which, you know, in a business point of view, you get a lot more return investment on that because disney is doing so well especially if you think about it from fox's point of view if disney does acquire fox and all of a sudden they got the x-men and fantastic four back well do you think that's going to lower disney stock or you think it's going to raise it so fox will be saying you know we're going to be contributing to something that will actually make the stocks that we get worth even more so as much as the higher amount of cash seems like a better deal you got to think from a business point of view. So I bought this book with anticipation that it is going to go through, in my opinion. And once Fantastic Four gets in a Marvel movie, forget it. Books like this are going to continue to go up. 
So this book is in the even in this lower grade, probably about a two hundred and seventy five to about three hundred dollar book. I paid with shipping and handling one hundred and seventy dollars. So I'm going to check this. If it ends up this is from another book and it's taped in there, I might just take it off. I'm not sure because I don't know if they'd consider that restoration or not. But you can obviously see that it's a different color from the rest of this. Let me put it closer. See how that's lighter? So I think somebody cut a piece and matched it to it. And I, I can pretty much bet that there's tape inside. You know what? Let's check. You can see it with me. And see if my instincts are right. And that's one of the things I always say about make sure you learn as much as you can about comics. Because this can avoid problems. Like even if it is, I don't care. Here's a big tip. Take the tape off of the top here before you take out the comic. Because the last thing you want is to have the tape get stuck to the book. You can also, like what I'm about to do here. Well, there we go. I was going to say you can also fold it over. So let's check this book. All right. And I knew this on the back, too. So as you can see, there's a piece missing in the back. But the, like I said, they did indicate this. There's some color breaks, a lot of wrinkles. So again, lower grade book. Let's go through it. Um, looks like off-white pages. There's some wrinkling in there. It might have been subject to moisture. You could see that the... Coupon is there. Looks like everything's attached. Go by the centerfold. You can see the staples are attached. So there is a little bit of wrinkling, which means, you know, like I said, it might have been subject to a little damage. So let's see. All right, so there's a big rip here, which, again, I knew about. All right, so there's a big line across here. So I wonder if that was professionally done, because it goes along the whole thing so it wasn't taped but you see that line hmm very interesting i wonder what could have caused that but you can also see there's some smearing of the ink a little bit that can't be fixed you could see smearing there so this is definitely a lower grade book but again for the price i don't care the fact that the cover is still attached and both staples are attached is fine. I knew about this. That we could fix by just pulling that over. So overall, again, you know, like I said, a 1.0, 1.5, maybe a 1.8. But even still, for the price I paid for it, especially with such a key issue, this is the first time they get their costumes, definitely a book worth getting. So overall, I cannot complain. I knew all the defects because luckily this was one of those sellers that actually showed the book and indicated the defects, so I appreciated that, because this way, you know, there's no surprises when I get the book home. But overall, even for the price I paid for a lower grade, I cannot complain, and I'm definitely happy. So, that is the book. Don't forget to wait until the end to see who's the surprise subscriber shout-out. And if you want to hit subscribe, that's awesome. If you want to hit the like button, that really helps. Hitting the share button helps other people find my channel. So if you could do that, I really appreciate it. And just don't hit the person next to you because it's not you, it's not I, it's We Love Comics. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next video. And I have to say to all my fans, you are all so fantastic. Yeah, I went there.